Hi everyone, this is Tandy with Living Acts 29 Ministries. As in Jamie's video yesterday, we're going to be reading through the book of Luke this holiday season. Today is chapter 2. Here we go. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place when Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone in his own city. Joseph went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared before them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be for all the people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And so it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known and saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen and was told to them. And when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So he came by the Spirit to the temple. And when the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in, the arm, in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before all the faces of the people, and a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at the things which were spoken of him. Then Simeon blessed them and said, Mary, his mother, behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel. And for which a sign which will be spoken against, yes, the sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Now there was one, Anna, a prophetess, a daughter of Phanal, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayers night and day. And coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. So when they had performed all these things according to the law of the Lord, 
they returned to Galilee, to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. His parents went to Jerusalem every year for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. When they had finished the days as they returned, the boy Jesus lingered behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother did not know it. But supposing him to have been in the company, they went a day's journey and sought him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. So it was after that three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. And he said to them, Why do you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which was spoken to them. Then he went down with them to, and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all the things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Come back tomorrow to read chapter 3.